Hey, what's going on guys? Before we get into it, everything you see in this video will be within the Discord link in the description. All you have to do to get them is to complete at least one invite and you will see our recent files from different videos, including this one as well. I also wanted to say our continuous growth within our community has been amazing and I appreciate every single one of you guys for the support. And if you're wondering how to maximize your PC's performance and wanting to get tweaked by Lumen ourselves, you can go to lumentweaks.com or join the Discord and open a ticket. We offer a standard advance and bio session. Now onto the video. If you ever feel like your internet is slow, even though your speed test says it's fine, or maybe your ping is inconsistent and you're losing packets and games for no reason, a lot of that comes down to how your PC handles network traffic. And one of the most overlooked things is updating your ethernet drivers and managing packet flow properly. So let's go ahead and break it down. The image I'm showing up on the screen now explains something called buffer bloat. I've talked about this on my channel in the past and not a lot of people understand it clearly to this day. Basically it's what happens when your network traffic gets clogged due to poor buffer management. So for this first diagram, part of your network where your data waits before getting sent out is overflowing. This is because your router or PC thinks it can send more than your actual internet connection can handle. When that happens, your packets pile up, gets delayed, and sometimes even gets lost. That's why web pages load slow and your ping spikes out of nowhere. Now onto the second part of the image, this is what happens when your traffic is managed properly. Instead of a clogged buffer, we've got a system that controls the flow so data moves smoothly with minimal delay. And that's where updating your ethernet drivers and tuning network settings comes into play. So why does updating your ethernet drivers matter? Your network adapter has firmware and drivers that control how it handles packets. Outdated drivers might have insufficient algorithms that don't manage buffers properly. This means more delay, worse latency, and overall worse performance. Newer drivers improve how your system communicates with your router, reducing unnecessary buffering and making sure packets get to where they need to be faster. If you've never updated your ethernet driver, you're likely running whatever generic driver Windows installed when you first set up your PC. And that's not optimized for performance. Manufacturers push updates to fix bugs, optimize packet handling, and even improve how your adapter prioritizes gaming and real-time traffic. The big question is, how can this lower ping? If you're gaming and you need your packets to reach the server as fast as possible, but when your network adapter isn't handling traffic efficiently, packets can get stuck in a queue, causing adding latency. The goal is to keep that queue as empty as possible, letting your data flow instantly instead of sitting in a buffer waiting its turn. Now let's be real, you're never going to have the same ping as a Fortnite pro who literally lives next to the server and is running business fiber. That's just how internet works, and physical distance matters. Notes we can change that, but what we can do is eliminate all unnecessary delays on our end so we get the lowest possible ping for our location. When you remove network bottlenecks, fix buffer bloat, and update your drivers, you give yourself the best chance to actually compete against those players. How can it reduce network adapter latency is another question. Beyond just ping, your network adapter itself introduces latency. This is the delay between when your PC sends data and when it actually leaves your network. If your adapter is running old drivers, it might not be processing packets as efficiently as it could. Modern drivers improve how quickly your network adapter can process and send data, reducing the time it takes for your packets to leave your system. Less delay inside your PC means less delay overall. So why you should do this as soon as possible? So if you're serious about reducing lag, stabilizing your connection, and improving performance, Updating your ethernet drivers is a must. It's free, it takes just less than a few minutes, and it can make a massive difference. Also, tweaking the buffer settings and managing traffic can further improve latency and packet delivery. If you're not sure how to update your drivers, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. As I said before, join the server to get these files, and let's go ahead and get started. So once you guys have joined the server and downloaded the ethernet drivers pack, you're gonna have a pack something just like this. All it is is just ethernet drivers. It's very simple to run. One of them is for Realtek Windows 10, Realtek Windows 11, and your Intel, which both works for Windows 10 and 11. If you don't know which adapter you have, come down here to your network and internet settings, open up your advanced network settings, and it'll say it right under your ethernet. For me, I have Intel. All you have to do is right click it, run it as administrator, and go through the whole process. It takes less than 30 seconds. That's it, now you know why keeping your ethernet drivers up to date is so important. If this helped, drop a like and sub for more, and let me know in the comments if you want a deeper dive into packet management or network tweaking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.